At Surgical Pathology Laboratories, we have been involved in the training of seven Mohs surgeons and have encountered product problems as well as patient problems and pathological problems that we have find unique in the care of these patients. What appears as a superficial lesion may be deeply invasive. A deeply invasive lesion needs to be evaluated for angiolymphatic and perineural invasion. The tissue needs to be preserved and not discarded at the end of the procedure. I'm just uh, cutting sections of tissue um, taken off of the uh, frozen section patients, so the tissue's been processed and um, prevented from decaying, and we're just slicing little thin sections of them, putting them on a slide for the doctors to examine and give their diagnosis. Ventana is a benchmark special stainer. We use it to do special stains. Uh, there's a distinction between special stains and immunohistochemistry. Most of these are usually between one and two hours. Uh, what I just took off, these are gastric samples, testing for things such as ulcers, cancers, and maybe any foreign bodies such as helicobacter pylori. The tissue needs to be preserved and not discarded at the end of the procedure, and then reevaluated by permanent section. At Surgical Pathology Laboratories, we are board certified anatomical pathologists and do these services.